you know, all night long, I'm been hit with these very ignorant people who leave comments that are hateful. And one of them said, you look like Grimace. You look like this. You look like that. What is this obsession with appearance? I know that there's this crazy um, obsession with identity politics among Democrats and liberals and everyone on the left. Because we on the right, we don't care what you look like. We don't care what your identity is. We care about character, the kind of person you are, your values. That's what we care about. And I was just thinking, yeah, all the kids love Grimace, I'm told. I don't care. Who cares? Who cares what a person looks like? It's what's inside that counts. You could have the most glamorous woman on the face of the planet. But he, she's also an evil bitch. That would rob from you and steal from you. It's like, what do you know? Am I a serial killer? Am I a child molester? Am I a rapist? Or am I a good person? Who cares what a person looks like? Do you want a serial rapist living next door to you? Or do you want a very nice, sweet, loving man who is big? Who happens to be overweight and so forth. Who would you like to have living next door to you? Who would you like? having to cross paths with you in the hall on your way to get your mail. Who would you feel more comfortable with? Would you like to have an axe murderer, someone who murders axes for a living? I mean, why does this obsession with appearance and leaving such comments about appearance? You look like Rivers. You look like that. Mr. Blobby. That's your appearance. I don't know you as a person, but I'm going to tell you what you look like. I already know what I look like. I don't need your description. And besides, who gives a flying thing what I look like? Everybody can see what I look like, but do you know anything about me? Is it that a little bit more important than what I look like? I, I remember when I was much younger, I was probably 200 pounds less than I am now. And this kid walks up to me. He said, you're big. 
And I looked down to him and I said, and you're small. So, what's your point? The kid didn't have an answer. He had that deer in the headlight look, in, you know, on his face. <clears throat> what's your point in saying I'm big? The whole world can see I'm big. He's not saying something nobody knows. So what's the point in saying it? But, little boy, do you know anything about me? Do you know if I, I might take your little sister and kidnap her? Do you know if I'm like that kind of a person? Or am I a kind of person who's just very nice and sweet and caring and wants peace in the world? Wants love in the world? Who doesn't hate a single person? Which kind of a person do you think I should be? Forgetting what I look like. Because it's a given. It's obvious. I mean, it's like saying to a tall man, you're tall. <laughs> yeah, we can all see he's tall. Why would you say to a tall person, you're tall? I mean, really? Why is appearance like so critical and so important to make a comment on? That's the thing that I don't understand. And we should stop doing that. And we should stop judging on appearance or knocking somebody down because of the way they look or of their handicap or disability. You knocking somebody down because of their disability that really makes you feel better about yourself? I mean, it reminds me of teen suicides based on cyberbullying. They, they tease and torment and knock this kid down so much so that he takes his own life. I mean, how productive is that? How positive is that? What is this obsession of knocking people down? What has happened to us as a society? That's the thing I don't understand. And I would love it if someone were to explain it to me why there is this need, this intense need to knock somebody down. I, I just can't wrap my mind around that kind of a need. I look for good. I look for blessings. I look for good things. I look at the positive things. I'm thankful that I'm still here. My stepfather expected me to die about, oh, about 11 years ago. You know, always knocking down, always knocking down. You're not going to make it to your next birthday. It's in knocking somebody down. It's like, why can't he be positive? Why always negative? You know, I think there's too much negativity in the world. 
really, it's just, it's obsessing me to knock down, knock down. You're no good, you're bad, you're ugly, you're deformed, you, you know, you're big, you're grotesque, you're a monster. How productive is that? We have a beautiful world, a wonderful world. And for so many years, everybody treated each other well. And it's only in recent years that we've seen so much disrespect. It's just, it's sad. It's so sad that we don't treat each other better than the way we're treating each other now. It's sad. It really is. And all I can do is for these, these poor souls who feel the need to very unflattering comments or hateful comments. You know, I hate you because you're Jewish. And Israel must be destroyed even if millions of Christians will be super pissed because they wanted to go to see the tour of Jesus and the path that he took and they wanted to go and visit Israel and go on that tour and now they can't because Israel's gone. Now all these Christians are, are upset because some very selfish people wanted to destroy Israel, destroy a site of tourism. It's a tourist site. Get rid of that tourist site. Get rid of a mil million Christians who want to go. Nah, those million Christians, they're not important for that tourism path of Jesus took nah, that. Get rid of it. That's what these people want to do. In their hatred of a beautiful, flourishing country like Israel. Beautiful buildings, lovely people. And some people want to destroy it from the river to the sea. And you ask some of these um, useful idiots, what river, what sea? Uh, I don't know. What sea, what river? I don't know. They just told us to chant that. How much money they're paying you? Well, a lot of money. How much? Can you count it? Uh, no, I didn't learn that in school. You know. Anyway. I didn't want to get too far on that. I think it, it's just pointless. It's, I just don't understand it. This insatiable need to knock others down. 
I just don't get it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you later. Take care. See you soon.